everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new to the channel today I'm doing another collaboration with Zaffle and I'm so so excited about it as I'm sure a lot of you would know I did a Zaffle bikini video a little while ago it was like a try on first impressions haul all in one kind of thing and they've asked me to do that again but with autumny wintery clothes because that's the season I'm going into at the moment you wouldn't know it by today's weather it's like 27 degrees or something sunny as like I'm wearing summer clothes but believe it or not it is almost or no it's autumn now going into winter in Australia so yeah it will be getting chillier soon which is why I got a whole parcel of autumn wintry clothes which is why it seems even bigger than the bikini parcel I got last time but yeah I just want to say thank you very much to Zafra for sponsoring this video and in this video I'll be giving my honest opinions and very first impressions because obviously I haven't even opened this yet um, of all of the items that I chose and I kind of can't really remember everything that's in here I did pick them out myself but it's been a while since I ordered so we'll see they did come by the way in good timing because I know a lot of people find that Zaffle shipping is really slow but I will say this took a little bit longer than my bikini package but I'm pretty sure it's because of what I said in my last video, and I'll say it again in this one, in case you, sorry for the background noise by the way, um, in case some of you haven't seen the other video, but basically what they've told me is on Zaffle a lot of products say either in stock or they say um, a number of days to be processed or a number of days until the item will be shipped if you add it to your cart. So it'll have that down underneath the little add to cart button and sometimes it'll say processed in three to five days or sometimes it'll say shipped in five to ten days and that basically means that it's something on their like, I forget what it's called, it's not itinerary, like their, what they stock regularly. It's something that they're going to make and they're going to have again but they just don't have any in stock at the moment but it's something they always make so they're either expecting more in the warehouse within that number of days say three to five days but they just don't have any at that current time so if it says it takes three to five days to process or to ship that usually means there's none in stock at that current time but they definitely know they're getting more so you can still make the order it'll just take longer for you to get the products because obviously they're not being sent out straight away because they need to get to the warehouse first and then be sent to you so basically that's why shipping often takes a long time and some people actually get their big orders in separate little packages just depending on what's in stock and what isn't. But basically that's the rundown of it. So if you order everything that says in stock and they definitely have a lot, you'll get it like pretty quickly depending on what shipping you choose. But yeah, if you get something which you can get that says like 3 to 5 days or 5 to 10 days, it obviously will take that amount of time plus the shipping and the processing time. So that's something to keep in mind. So the shipping can be a bit like hit and miss, but that's just because of the clothes you pick and you will be able to tell before you actually make your order. So I'm going to do this video the same style as the bikini try on video. So I can open the clothes, try them on and review them all at the same time. So I give you my real raw first impression of what I think of the item. So I'm going to flip the camera around to a blank wall so I can stand up instead of sitting down and show you all the pieces I got. I'm pretty sure most of them are just tops, like things that you wear in your top half, like jumpers or sweaters or things like that anyway. So should be pretty good, but yeah, I'll change over now. So I just tipped out my parcel and this is everything I got in my order. I'm actually quite surprised that these came in the same sort of bags that the bikinis came in. Like they all are in the individual Ziploc Zaffle bags. I'm about to drop everything, oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I was surprised by that but it's really nice, really nice touch to their packaging. But basically I've got 10 items here and my total was, I think it was actually exactly $200. So on average that's $20 for each item and most of them are like really wintry kind of like long sleeve or like have a lot of material in them. You know how a lot of jumpers and sweaters and like coats and things can be a lot more expensive than just like little crop tops and things. So I think about like approximately $10, I mean $20 sorry, $20 each is a really good price. That was like on average. Some things were obviously less, some things are a bit more and as I did in my last video, I will try and link everything down below with the prices and everything like that. But yeah, let's just get straight on to trying the first item. Guys, I just recorded my whole first clip talking about this first item without pressing record. Like I started talking to a camera that wasn't recording. Oh, here we go for the second time, but the first time that you guys have seen this. Basically, my first impression was the, of this was that is amazing. It's literally such nice quality 
the, I'll explain it to you first by the way because I don't remember what the actual name of the items are but this is basically a knit cropped fitted sweater I guess you'd call it we don't really say sweater in Australia but it's like a sweater it's a knit thing and it's super nice and like snug fit I'll show you the back really simple back but same as the front actually because there's no tags or anything on the inside so I had no idea which way to put it so I just guessed and I think the front and the back are the exact same so I could have it on backwards for all I know but it's the same really and it's oh the most gorgeous knit fabric I'll show you up close it looks like that so soft so smooth not like fluffy and itchy at all as some knits can be like oh I can see myself wearing this all the time it's so comfy and I actually probably wouldn't I'm sweating already it's so hot today and this is such a nice good quality knit that like, like will keep you warm but I would say I wouldn't wear a shirt underneath I've just got that white singlet on I had before but I probably wouldn't because it makes it a bit lumpy and everything and you just don't need it like it's such a nicely well fitted fitted crop and I just I love this so much 10 out of 10 it's also like a nudie beige color which I didn't say but I'm sure you can all see because you're not blind but this is oh I love this so glad we started this video off well I love this so much 10 out of 10 guys this is amazing this is such another good fit this is a cropped hoodie I guess I don't know what else to call it it's cropped because it only comes up to here and it's also what do they call this it's like a cut off cropped hoodie because it's like no seam at the bottom it's like literally someone's just like cut it as you can tell and it's like curled up because there's no seam if that makes sense it's pretty trendy right now I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about but oh this is just a plain simple hoodie white with black straps going across it it's got the long drawstrings which I actually quite like I don't know if they're actually if they're real or fake they're probably real because it's got a hood this is the back of it and once again perfect length on my arms I actually quite like that it's like a little bit shorter and not like I like how some hoodies are really big and you can like pull them over your hands but this isn't meant to look big because it's cropped and it's like quite slim on the arms and everything I actually really really like this look perfect length perfect fit the inside of it isn't super warm like this isn't a very warm hoodie it probably just good to keep the wind off you I guess it would keep you warm obviously because it's got long sleeves but it's cropped and the inside isn't fleecy the inside is like I don't know if I can show you this if it'll focus but it's like that I don't know how to explain that but just like not fleecy it's just like that scratchy kind of I don't know what that stuff is but it's really thin but then again that's really good for Brisbane winter because we don't get that cold and this is another 10 out of 10 for me it fits so well oh I should also tell you guys because I told you in the bikini haul what size I am and what size I got in all the bikinis and everything so I'm usually a size 8 sometimes a 10 but pretty much a standard 8 in Australian sizing and I ordered a small in every single thing I got so and so far the first few things have fit absolutely perfect so yeah Zaffle don't have like 8, 10 and 12 so they just do like small medium and large so I got small and everything okay the next one is another knit and oh excuse the redness that's probably just for me like pulling the jumpers on and off but yeah this is another knit it's a creamy white color yeah I was gonna say just white but it's a, a creamy white color it's not bright white and I actually I really love the fit of this how it's like got that extra fabric there it's really slouchy and the shoulder seams are actually all the way down there so they've got a really large shoulder piece which makes it like that really slouchy kind of look which I love so like when you're done your arms it's a bit baggy but still cropped oh actually that's the back of it and I was just gonna say I really like how it's shorter at the front and like longer and saggier at the back that's what the back looks like I really like that the only thing is I'm not sure I'm a fan of these little like frayed things like I think fraying needs to be like the bottom's cute the bottom's like that you probably can't see because I'm wearing white underneath too but the bottom's got more like dangly frayed bits which looks all right but the top's very like precise like someone's purposely frayed and that's not really what fraying is meant to look like actually I might just be able to chop those off I think if I cut those off so it's just a straight v-neck might keep the fraying at the bottom it's also got it on the sleeves but yeah I think if I just cut that off it might look a bit cuter I do really like the fit of this though really good fit really nice material again it's not itchy at all and I think this would be perfect for Brisbane winter oh my gosh Zaffel are just nailing it this is another cute sweater knit kind of thing it's not a knit material it's more oh actually this one's starting to get a little bit itchy 
No, not really, really itchy. It's just like a scratchy material. Like it's not as soft as the other one. Ooh, I do have sensitive skin though, so bear that in mind. And you'd most likely be wearing a long sleeve underneath this in winter because it's winter. So that probably wouldn't be an issue, like the scratchy material. But I really love the fit of this. I have to stand back to show you. It'll probably look better tucked in a little bit at the front. If I just do that. And let it hang over. This is the back. I love this kind of grey marl look effect kind of thing, how it's not a solid grey colour, it's got like speckles and streaks of white in it. I love the v-neck, the arms are a good length again, nice and, well you can also fold them up if you wanted to too, but just leave it like that, it's a really good length. I love the fit of this, it kind of looks a bit mummish I guess, yeah maybe it does look a bit mum, do I look like a mum? Maybe if I took my hair out it'd look a bit better, maybe with my hair, I don't know. This one is still really cute, like, and it's also really good quality, like, besides the scratchiness, which you could literally be itchy in, like, a $200 better from, like, Zara or something, I'm sure. So, yeah, they've still done pretty well with this. I'm not going to hate on this. I'm probably going to wear this, too, in winter. Like, this would be so cute with, like, some really skin-tight skinny jeans, because this is all starchy, and you could just wear it, like, hanging over. It looks weird with my skirt, but, like, hanging over your tight jeans, or, like, you tighten a knot even, maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. This is still really cute. The next one is grey as well. It's a grey mull, just like a little bit of a darker grey mull with darker grey shades in it. And it's a cardigan, so it's a long line. I can't even, it's that long I can't even show you. I'm all the way back here and it just goes past, it's pretty much just in line with my fingers when I put my hands down. So it's a long line cardigan, covers your bum and everything. It's got pockets just here, which is really good. It fits really nicely. It's actually a bit short. But I do like that. I think most cardigans are a little bit shorter on your arms because they're just meant to be a light, like, throw over thing if it gets a bit chilly. It's a really thin material, which I actually quite like because what's the point in having a heavy cardigan when it's, like, all open at the front and it's not going to keep you warm anyway? So this is a really, really lightweight, thin cardigan just to kind of keep the chill off you. And I really like it. Not itchy, super soft. Just a really nice, simple, plain cardigan. I don't know when I'm going to wear this or, like, what outfits I'd wear it with because it looks a bit like workish or like a teacher or something would wear it. I don't know. Hopefully I can pull it off because it's really good quality. Okay, this is the last of the like a jumper or sweater kind of category. But I'm kind of I feel like I love the worst till last. Like it's it's not that bad, like it's it's good make and everything, but I feel like it's just like a weird item of clothing. Like it just looks a bit weird on me. I don't know. This was probably the snuggest, like the most difficult to get on. Like it fits when it's on because it's quite tight, but it was hard to get on, I'd say. I don't know, maybe I just don't like how the shoulders sit. I think the shoulder seams are a little bit too small for me. Like they should be like down here. So kind of broad shoulders. Oh, it's such a pretty colour though when you look at that. That's stunning. I think maybe you could probably work this with maybe some high-waisted black tights. And make it like a sports luxe kind of look. Maybe you could wear this to the gym. I don't know. No, I would not wear this to the gym. But like as like a gym jumper over your sports bra kind of thing. I feel like that's kind of the vibe it's giving off. Like a sports luxe vibe if you're wearing tights with it. It's probably the only thing I could see it as. And this is probably the only one out of all the jumpers that I wouldn't wear actually. It's been pretty good so far. This is probably a miss but still not bad quality. I'll give it that. It's a really nice material. Okay, so I've got three more things to show you, this being one of them. And the next three things are kind of more interchangeable in the seasons. Like, the other two things I've got are quite summery pieces, but in Brisbane winter you could just chuck over one of the jumpers I've showed you and it would make it a winter piece, if that kind of makes sense, or a winter outfit, I should say. So this is one of them. Obviously it does have sleeves, but absolutely no shoulders whatsoever, so you'd still be cold. I'd probably need a cardi or something if it was winter, but as I said, it's Brisbane and it's only autumn, so thought I'd pick up this one. It's the most basic top that Zaffle has probably. No, that's an exaggeration. It's just the most basic top that I've got in the haul, I think. Because I've seen this in probably just about every boutique ever, and I'm sure you guys have too. So I don't really need to show you much of it, but it's like the basic strapless boob tube with the attached sleeves. The only issue I have about this, it was quite snug to get on. I'm wearing a strapless bra underneath, but like you can see it right there, like it only just covers me. And same with the sleeves, the sleeves are actually even smaller, like I feel like my arms kind of look like sausages in them. Would you agree? Like this is supposed to be like 
tight elastic and then a bit of frill. See how you can see this frilling? It doesn't really frill on my arms because they're so tiny. It just looks like a sausage. <laughs> so I think the only thing I'm probably going to do with this is just go no bra and maybe even cut off the sleeves because these are actually hurting my arms, the elastic. Like it's quite snug. So I'd probably say go a size up in this top if you're looking at getting it because it is a really nice make and such a cute top. But I think now that I've got it, I'd probably just cut off the sleeves and just use it as a little bendo. Okay, the next piece I'm going to show you is actually a two-piece set that I got. And obviously this is quite summery, but as I said, it's autumn in Brisbane and it's not even that cold, obviously. So this set, I was kind of worried about how good the quality was going to be just because of the images on the website. And I just thought, hmm, doesn't look like it's made of the best material. But all in all, you guys can obviously make up your own opinions about what you think. But... I think, this is the back by the way, I think the fit could have been a lot worse, like this fits me and covers me really well. It's slightly gapy, if you can see that, in that the bottom a little bit, but nothing too dramatic, like I'd still wear this out in public easily. I am wearing a strapless bra and I probably wouldn't go without one with this, just because it is only done up by the two knots. So you've got a little string bow at the top and then a bigger bow made of the satin fabric at the back there and I feel like you could actually probably get rid of that gaping prob problem if you just got someone else to tie it up for you because it's a bit hard to keep it nice and tight while you're doing the bow yourself so probably get someone else to help you with that but it is really nice as I said I got a size small and I was kind of worried that it would be too small but these pants are honestly massive like I could actually do with like not a size down because they fit really nice and really comfy but I think they could have been a bit shorter, like they look really baggy, but that means they're really comfy and they've got a really comfortable, nice and tight, but not too tight, elastic bands that's quite thick around the waist, which I love. And I should have told you, it's just a black and white strap, as you can see there when it focuses, but it's like a, a faint kind of black and white strap. And I'm really happy with this. I don't know how I would go wearing it in public, just because I don't know if I like the neckline of this on me like I really like the outfit and I think it's really cute really good quality and everything like that but I just don't know if this neckline suits me or if I like it on me but this outfit is probably like an 8 or 9 out of 10 like there's absolutely nothing wrong with the quality of it like it looks like you bought it from a boutique or something like that in the store I'm actually I also really love the back of it too so I'm really happy with this Sorry guys, I actually missed a jumper out. So when I said I had three like summary things left, I still have one summary thing left, but I just found this jumper that I haven't showed you yet. And it's kind of, as you can tell, I went with a really basic like neutral kind of theme because that's my style and I thought that would be safest to see, to really see like what their winter clothing and like quality and everything is like. So this is the last wintery piece and it is an extremely cropped like there's the struggles for right there, like extremely cropped, um, like hoodie, no it's not a hoodie because it doesn't have a hood, a sweater, that's the word you would use for this. And it's quite a nice material on the outside, I wouldn't know how to explain it to you but it's almost, no I honestly really don't know how to explain it to you, but it's quite a stretchy nice feeling material on the outside. On the inside it's a bit different, it's just like got all that stitching stuff, I don't know how to explain that but it's just like a normal sweater kind of thing but a bit nicer material like it's quite good quality and it's got like little ribbed arm theme jigs and the neck theme jig I don't know what they're called cuffs I guess and yeah it's very sport luxe I feel like I've seen this on a lot of yeah like sports brands and boutiques and things that wear do like the really high-waisted tights with a really cropped sweater which I think would look so cool and I think I have some high-waisted tights that would look good with this but I just don't know if it's too boxy for me. Like, I think it's really cute. But, actually, it might just be the sharp creases in it. As you can see, there's, like, a fat crease there from just where it's been folded. So maybe if it went through the wash once, it would be a little bit less boxy. But this is really comfy and still really cute. And really, really nice material, as I already said. So this is definitely a win. I'm really loving this. It's so modern and fresh looking. Okay, guys, for real, this is actually the last thing I have to show you right now. And it's a bit of a shame because I kind of went from best to worst in the haul, which I don't usually do, I don't think. But this is a dress, and I got one dress because I thought, you know what, I don't own a lot of dresses. 
Zaffle is a good opportunity to try some and to try and see what their dress quality is like. And this is a bit of a weird one because I looked online and it looked really cute and I was a bit unsure about like just if the style would suit me but it's a really popular style. So I thought I'd give it a go, see what Zaffle's version of it is like. I'm sorry for the overexposure right now, the sun is setting kind of, so it's a bit weird lighting. But it's this dress here, it's got like orange and green straps in it with a bit of white and it's a wrap dress and I'm covering up here because it doesn't cover me very well, that's the only issue. Like from the front now, if I pull it across like that, it looks okay, like I could get away with it. But as soon as you turn to the side and actually like let it go and sit how it normally does, it's just too revealing. Like it just, if you were a bit more flat chested than I am, this would look so cute. And I actually, oh, I'm, it's such a shame about the top bit because the bottom of it and like the fit of it all oh, actually, I just feel like it's so short. Is it too short? Oh no, it does cover my bum, but I feel like if you were sitting down, maybe not. It's just a little bit too light on the fabric, a little bit too, well, a little bit too skimpy, I'd say. And the other weird thing is, it's just, so it's a wrap dress, right? But it's not attached anywhere at all. So you just put it on like, almost like a backwards apron. So you put one side on this arm, one side on that arm, wrap it in front of you, kind of like a backwards apron pretty much. And then this bow cut is separate. So if I like hold this and undo it, it's just separate and you just like wrap this dress around you and there would be no means of it staying together which is kind of the only downfall like if you were quite a lot thinner and skinnier than me and didn't have boobs or anything it would probably work but I just don't see how you could stay together and like not show anyone anything throughout the day if you wore this like it just I don't see how it could work and how you cannot flash everyone so that's kind of a miss for me I'm a bit disappointed but it's a really cute dress I think just go a size up and like use safety pins or something if you can get this. I don't even know. It's really cute though, so I'm a bit disappointed that it doesn't fit in. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of the Zaffle haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it because I am so, so happy with all the items I got. As you can see, this is what happens after I try everything on. I just chuck it in a pile here. <laughs> but I'm so, so happy with the quality of literally everything. The only downfalls I had with a couple of the things were just I didn't like how it looked on me personally or the dress was a bit of a weird situation. I'll, I'll be honest, it's a bit weird. I can show you it now. I can show you what I mean about the apron thing. It's just one bit of fabric and you just like wrap it around yourself. Like, what? Who thought that would stay together? I don't know. But all the winter stuff, which is the main point of this haul, which is kind of a good thing, is literally amazing like all the knits are such good quality and like you wouldn't guess it was from Zaffle I honestly think we've one upped the bikini try on haul like their winter clothes are even better I'm so impressed and this boxy jumper is actually grown on me a lot I quite love it now quite love it that's such that's such a posh thing to say I'm so rambly today I'm so sorry guys I should just end this video but I want to say thank you so much to Zaffle for sponsoring this video these are all my true honest opinions I obviously have just opened this package and these are my very first impressions of everything. And I'm just so excited to wear all my new winter stuff, even though I'm literally sweating. It's so hot and not even winter yet, but I'm so happy with everything. Thank you so much, Zaffle. Thank you so much to you guys for watching and for supporting my channel. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like Zaffle hauls and if you like the stuff. And hopefully I'll be able to leave all the links and everything in the description bar if you want to check out any of the items because they're all amazing. I'll see you in my next video. If you're subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and tick the little notification bell thing thingamajig. I think it's a tick. I don't know. Just do that so you get notified if you want to. If you don't, that's fine too. I'll see you in my next video if you're there. Bye.